going to keep going here. They changed our center. So our center now, instead of being 2, 2, is negative 3, 3. So if that was 2, we put negative 2. So if that's negative 3, I'm going to have to put positive 3. If that's negative 5, I'm going to have to put positive 5. And my radius has to be squared. Okay, so that's my formula. And again, it was the same formula here. I just plugged in a zero, and but any number minus zero, I could have rewritten. So let's see. Here, I don't really think I'm gonna rewrite that. I'm gonna leave it like this part like that. I might learn later how to rewrite that part, but for now, the radius is eight, so I'm gonna write eight squared. And again, there's one more way I think I could write this. I could write just the number 64. And all of these are equivalent, but maybe this would be the one we like the best, okay? But they're all exactly the same. We typed them in Desmos, we'd get the same picture. Now it says use the given information to make equation of a circle, interesting. Center zero, zero, so that part I'm pretty good at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good to go, right? Radius is squared, but I don't see a radius. Hmm, very sneaky of them, right? So I might have to make a quick sketch to see if I know what they're trying to get me to figure out. They said the centers is zero, zero, and the point on the circle is four negative three. Hmm. So a point on the circle is four negative three. That must mean this is what my picture looks like. The center is there and a point on the circle. So they're kind of telling me code word warning. That's a radius because any distance from the center to a point on a circle is a radius. If only we knew how to find the distance between two points. They gave us a point here and a point on the circle. If only we knew how to find the distance between these two points. Hmm. Tricky. We do. The distance, the radius would be the distance between these two points. And we have something called a distance formula. Interestingly enough, it also was derived from Pythagorean theorem. Pretty cool. So it goes something like this. If we subtract the two x values and square it, and subtract the two y values and square it, and then don't forget to take the square root, we will find the distance. And the distance, what we're calculating, is going to be the radius. So let's do it. The first x value okay, is zero, and the second one is four. So four minus zero squared. The second y value is negative three, so negative three minus and the first y value is zero. So negative three minus zero squared. So four take away zero is still four, and negative three take away zero is still a negative three. 4 times 4 is 16, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So I get the square root, the radius, is the square root of 25? Wait a minute, that's 5. Hmm. So I could have actually drawn a triangle as well and gotten my car and drive 4 and drive 3 and get, oh, there is that anyway. Four squared and three squared and take the square root, that's gonna be the number five. That's the most famous triangle in the world, right there. So, I know the radius is five. So I can put that right there. A center is at zero, zero, and the radius is five. Another way to write it would be like that's looking sharp. Remember, Desmos would help us confirm this. Desmos. I'm going to do that right now. 
So if you don't believe me, I can turn these back to zero, zero. And I want the radius to be five. Okay, so there it is, the radius is five. And they said a center is zero, zero, I believe I'm there. And then they also said a point on the circle is four, oops, I don't wanna zoom in, sorry about that, is four, negative three. Ding, 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 ding. That point, oh, is on the circle, four, negative three. So that's a true statement that a center with a zero and a point four, negative three is in fact, yep, is this equation right there. But this equation doesn't look like that equation. It is still the same equation though. It's totally the same equation. Cool. Okay, let's do another one. Center is at four, five. I think I'm getting better at this. If the center is at four, five, um, then just like I plugged in there, I can put center, but we got liars, right? So if it's positive four, I gotta write it x minus four. And if it's positive five, I'm gonna write y minus five. And once again, they don't give me the radius, but whatever the radius is, I'm gonna take it and square it. So now, I'm gonna type that in. Four and minus five. And I'm just gonna verify that my center is in fact, if the left side of my equation looks like this, I definitely have over four up five, that looks like the center of my circle. So the part I don't know is what the radius is, but I'm looking for whether or not the point zero Eight. Ooh, it looks like zero eight is on my graph. So I must have, ooh, my leftover radius worked out just fine. Notice if I made my radius bigger, like six, ooh, ooh, that got a little crazy. If I made my radius six, now I didn't change the left side, so the center is still at four, five, that's still the center. But notice that point eight zero is no longer on there. So that is special. That locked it in. So now I just have to prove that the radius is five, but because I, I kind of figured out with Desmos, I know the radius is five. So again, the radius will be the distance between the center of any circle and any point on that circle. So they're defining what the radius is. This is actually the definition of a radius. Okay, so the distance between those points would be the radius, and I'm gonna use the same equation we used before. Subtract this one right here. Subtract the two x values, zero minus four, or four minus zero. So I think I like four minus zero better. And then I'm gonna subtract the two y values, x minus five, or five minus, or excuse, eight minus five, or five minus eight. So I'm gonna do eight minus five, okay? Looking good. Three squared, four squared. Uh-oh, I think I know how they got five. Five. So the radius is five. Hmm, interesting. So here's our equation. And our radius is five squared. Now one last step. A lot of times they might want it to look like this, and this is also an equivalent equation, meaning the this equation means exactly the same thing. Do do do, looking sharp. Okay, now let's go to the back and do a little graphing. So we practiced this today. Notice this would be the same thing, and we can type it in Desmos. And so we just have to think about interesting. The radius squared portion of the equation is equal to 225, so that must mean the radius is 15 because 15 times 15 equals 225, okay? So I can use Desmos. I can change this back to zero zero, 
And I can change this to 15. Zoom out a little bit. Notice the radius is 15. Radius is 15, but I can't just put 15 there. I have to put 15 squared. Okay, sweet. And then again, if I change that to 225, notice I still have radius of 15. So that confirms what I thought. That's my equation. And to draw it, I'm just gonna draw uh, the center. The center is at zero, zero, and the radius is 15. So if the center is at zero, zero, and the radius is 15, I'm just gonna count by five. So five, 10, 15. So 15 to the left, five, 10, 15 to the right, five, 10, 15 up, five, 10, 15 down, bada boom, bada bing. We got ourselves a circle. Awesome. Number eight, using this same pattern, I think that the center is gonna be at not negative three, but positive three, not positive two, but negative two. And this part is my radius squared. So when I think about that, my radius squared is 16. So I think we saw that before. That would tell us that our radius is four. So that's gonna be pretty easy to graph, but the center of my circle is not gonna be here. The center of my circle is gonna be at three, negative two. So I'm gonna shift my X and Y coordinate up a little bit and over, just so my poor little old circle here will fit. Okay, I'm gonna shift that. I think that'll work. Okay, so if I make my origin right here, my center's at three, negative two. Okay, so here's the center of my circle and I need to go over four, back four, up four, down four, bada boom, bada bing. That's a pretty good looking circle. 